Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Before you take your seats, just look over at somebody and tell them up until now. Tell them the Lord's been good to me. And a lot of times we are defeated because we got the wrong mentality. We go in the battle thinking that we have lost. But you got to go into it knowing that you have already won. Brother, give me that right there. I bought my weight bar in here. Because sometimes we get a little too heavy. Seem like we can't bear the burden. Seem like you go this way, you think your load gonna get a little lighter. But the burden is still there. So what I have learned in the last few months, uh, that you got to still preach uh, when you wait it. Uh, you got to still sing uh, when you wait it. Uh, you got to still go to Sunday school uh, when you wait it. Uh, you still got to praise uh, when you wait it. Uh, I know it's on the way. He promised uh, to never leave me through dark days. He said he'll be there. He said he'll hold my hand. He will walk with you. He will talk with you. And he tells me, I am your own. We must be concerned about our mothers and fathers. We cannot just sit and allow the enemy to come into the camp and overtake us. But we must be concerned. Money, but, but David didn't, didn't put his value in his riches, but his value in the word of God. He didn't have what we have. He had just a small part of the word. We got the Old Testament. We got the New Testament. And we still won't harbor the things of God. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. I don't want my singing to be in vain. I don't want my preaching to be in vain. I don't want my teaching to be in vain. I don't want my coming to church to be in vain. But I want God to get the glory. It doesn't matter what your background was. If you come and surrender yourself to God, he can use you just as you are.